the economy is improving and real estate values are going up and people can afford a modest apartment. Yes, Chelsea Clinton and her husband Mark Mesvinsky just bought a $10.5 million spread right across the street from Madison Square Park. A starter property for sure. It's on 26th Street in New York City and is four bedrooms, with six bathrooms, and the family room has a full view of the park. They're going to be slumming it. It's a lovely story of the young couple stumbling across the home that they just had to have. Years of scrimping and saving both their incomes, they were finally able to buy it. You can just picture the children walking to the local school around the corner, playing cowboys and Indians with their friends in the park. Heavens no, playing cowboys and Indians with their friends in the park. They'd be arrested for using toy guns and have the extra charge of racism for using the term Indians. Indians is an offensive term use come. You should use words such as redskin or Indian. They do not insult Indians. They epitomize the ultra-wealthy evil corporatists that the left loves to demonize in the press, and do favors for behind closed doors while they support liberal causes. Yeah. I'm sure Chelsea has done a lot of scrimping and saving to buy this rental maybe someday they can afford a house and a yard. Then they can spend their money on more green projects that liberals love. Like landscaping, except one nursery is refusing to sell to the liberal elite from New York City. Which nursery is that? It is Highland Hill Farm of Bucks County, Pennsylvania. They say the liberal elite just want tax credits for the landscaping they buy and are not really interested in the environment. Those liberals make Highland's growing operation more difficult with their pushing for more regulations. Therefore Highland will not sell to the liberal elite tests such as the Bloomberg's, Clinton's, Biden's, Canad's, and Obama's. The owner says he would rather help the working Joes get quality trees and shrubs than accept any money from a liberal. He says they can just do without. They don't deserve service and he also refuses to sell to any municipal government that enacts a soda size ban or a ban on the right to carry. He also offers a 10% discount to anyone who come to he nursery who is open carrying. The owner said people who open carry are more polite and spend more. They can visit Highland Hill Farm which is near Doylestown or see them at highlandhillfarm.com. What are their hours at this farm? They are open every day from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. except Sunday. On Sunday of course they are closed. On Sunday they cling to their Bibles and guns all day long. And remember it was on a Sunday. What happened on Sunday? It was on a Sunday that Chelsea's daddy Bill Clinton pardoned in 2002 for fraud Chelsea's husband's father, an ex-con. Bill Clinton is a scumbag. No wonder Holland will not sell to the Clintons and other scum and liberal elites.